What's going on guys? It's Adonis. Dragon Ball Super Episode 102 is out. We're about to get this reaction pop in. I'm in Australia, 17 hours ahead. So I was at work when this dropped. So I'm sorry for being late. Let's get into it. Now, if you guys are fans of Dragon Ball Super, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. Now, before we get into it, guys, I just wanted to say I'm trying something new with the reaction. I've been getting hit with a lot of takedowns uh, on these reaction videos. So I'm going to try this this episode. I just want to see if I still get the same kind of treatment. There's been other channels with Matt, with bigger following with the entire episode up um, and they're not getting pulled. So either I have a hater that's just sending my stuff out or I'm getting flagged for something else. So I'm gonna try this for this episode. I'm just trying to figure out something because you guys like the reactions that I do. So I wanna make sure I can deliver them to you. So let's get into it. Hmm. Say so he's been waiting. <laughs> he's still after that one character. Hmm. Are you too ready? <laughs> I wonder who's going to be affected. Yo, this is going to be crazy, man. <laughs> Goku tripping. Oh. Who is that? Frieza? 18? 17? <laughs> Bro. That's hilarious. Freaking Topo, bro. Please don't do the whole thing again. <laughs> Again? Fuck, hurry up! Alright, I'm over it already. Greatest form of universe. Two warriors? Okay, yo, they better be dope. <laughs> yeah, Krillin, why you why you hating, bro? Shallow? <laughs> what a foul odor. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, Roshi. <laughs> hmm. Boy. <laughs> Bro. He's not playing, bro. <laughs> it's a slow burn, guys. I'm not feeling Universe 2 at all right now, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm just letting you guys know. Oh. She just laughing at him. Oh. <laughs> he can't hit her, bro? Yo. That, that's actually crazy. Damn, bro. Took out Zarbon's boy. <laughs> Ha 
Hmm. Yo, that's pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> that was tight. That was dope. Okay, she's a dope character. Got it. Huh. That was tight. See his shirt rip? Fuck it. Seventeen's beastie, bro. Oh. Bruh. Psh. He's sick. You better be strong, because this dude, 17's a beast. Mmm. She's fast. <laughs> well, he has unlimited stamina, so it don't matter. She's tricking him, or he's tricking her. Nasty, bro. The prey is you. Oh, my God. Yard rat. Oh. Oh, she can fly. Right. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, boy. Oh shit. Yo, 17 is brutal. Yo, damn bro. Eighteen is not caring. She's like, all right. Damn. Huh? What? Yo, yo, 17 is nasty, bro. Was worth studying. Wow. Bro, bro. 17 is nasty, yo. Is she gonna take him out? Okay, so we got Gohan right now, bro. Mm. 
hit, bro. Oh. Oh. Yee <laughs> boy. Okay, guys. Yo. Yo. All right. So the episode started off a little slow. It started off a little slow, but 17, your boy came through. He came through, brought the heat. I'm so excited right now, guys. 17 was so dope in this episode. So really quick. So the beginning episode, obviously you had the three girls, Rebrian, the other two. Forgive me, I don't know their names off the top of my head right now, but I, I just wasn't feeling them like the whole like love thing like uh I don't know I don't know how I was feeling about it but the the super fast one she was dope she was a dope character she had a real some really dope abilities she was pretty tight the other one with the punching thing she was pretty dope but they got dealt with really quick um so I don't know like I feel like right now we're gonna see Rebri in the next episode really do some damage hopefully like I want to see I want to see one of the opponents actually pose a threat because right now we haven't seen anybody really pose a threat to universe seven like none of our guys are tripping right now like nobody's really like stressing at all so i feel like right now they've only shown universe 11 being a threat of some sort because of jiren and topo but not 100 percent sure if anybody in universe 2 is going to be able to hold up against anybody in universe 7 so let me know your guys' thoughts on that do you think rebianna is going to knock out 17 in the next episode could happen she looks like she's after after 17 with a vengeance right now. So that's really interesting though. Goku just still not caring. He's just, you know, enjoying his time in the tournament. Vegeta, he kind of got freaked out about Rebrand's little whatever she did. He was like, I just couldn't do it. Like, so I, that was, that's super interesting. But I feel like with the whole Rebrand scenario, I really, really hope that Frieza just completely intervenes and wipes her out because because that Frieza is just a complete opposite of Rebrian, like the complete opposite. You saw when she was doing her attack and he was just like, dude, like that odor, so bad. Like that was pure Frieza, but he's the exact opposite, literally the exact opposite of Rebrian. So I really wanna see Frieza go up against her versus 17 in the next episode, but all I know is 17 went in in this episode, guys. Like, super dope. 18 wasn't even worried about the other characters from Universe 2 going up against 17. She was just like, all right, he'll take care of it. No big deal. Um, but yeah, that was super fly. His techniques were nasty. I was like, dude. I just feel like people just slept on him on 17. Like, we saw him go up against Goku, and Go even Goku was like, I knew he was hiding stuff. Like, And he even said, he was like, you know, I still got more power. Goku had obviously more power, so it's really cool to see him take things more serious. Is he going full out yet? Not 100% sure, but nonetheless, killed it in this episode. The next episode, though, we have some stuff with Gohan, finally. Finally, we see Gohan actually do something serious. They're not doing the group thing anymore. I feel like there's probably no need since everybody in the tournament now seems to be on another echelon of power. So they're going to have to start fighting one off or at least in smaller groups. You see in the next episode, Piccolo and Gohan seems still to be fighting back to back. So, um, and we see Gohan at the end doing what seems like a Kamehameha towards another character. So hopefully we'll see him kick some people out of the tournament next episode. I do not want to see him go full ultimate Gohan yet. Like serious, yes, but full power. I don't want to see him go full power yet. We haven't seen Goku or Vegeta or Frieza for that matter go full power so i do not want gohan to do that yet i want to know your guys' thoughts on that do you want him to go full mystic next episode or you think they should treat him like the character that he is as powerful as gohan is they shouldn't be putting him up there yet um so let me know your guys thoughts on that um other than that um yeah like i'm really curious to see is there other is there going to be any other characters that haven't been introduced yet that are actually going to start posing threats to our team um the rumored uh well not even rumored anymore the released uh spoiler alert by the way if you guys don't want to know what was revealed from universe's six team so if you don't want to know that make sure you're subscribed catch in the next video but we're going to talk about universe six really quick universe six um there was an announcement of two new namekians 
So, do we think that these Namekians are gonna be stronger than Piccolo? Do you think maybe they're gonna have some fusion? Who knows? But let me know your thoughts on that because I think that that might pose a threat to Piccolo. Maybe they have a level or reach something that Piccolo has not yet achieved yet. That'd be really cool because we haven't seen another universe, AKA universe six, teach anybody from universe seven anything. And they're essentially a clone universe. So hopefully we, we get Piccolo leveling up. That'd be really dope to see. Um, so really cool. I wanna know your thoughts on that as well. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, this episode was pretty awesome. Like I said, the slow burn at the beginning, the whole replay of their transformation was super annoying, I have to be honest. But other than that, when the fighting started to go, man, like 17 with the win right now. 17 was going in in this episode, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Did you think it was awesome all the way through? Do you think you could have done without the whole transformation thing with Universe 2? I want to know your thoughts. Also, let me know your theories on next episode. Who do you think is going to be either eliminated from Universe 7? Or do you think 17 is going to take out Rebrianne or vice versa? I want to know your thoughts on that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will be doing some Dragon Ball Super theory videos this week. So I don't want you to miss that. Make sure you have the notification bell turned on so you don't miss those videos. If you guys like this reaction, hit that thumbs up button. Show your boys some love. And if you want to check out my last video, the link will be right here to the side. All right, guys. Till next time. See you later.